Hi everyone, welcome to Kevin's Backyard. Today we're going to be talking about tailgating season, which is one of my favorites because it brings together all the things that I love. My family, my friends, grilling, great food, and our favorite sports teams. But throwing a great tailgate party can be a little difficult, so we're going to give you some great tips in this video on how to plan, how to prepare, and how to execute so you can get the most out of your next tailgate party. Now when throwing a tailgate party, you need to know how many people are coming. And if you're cooking for a smaller group, let's say six to eight people, you can get a little bit more adventurous. If you're going for a large group, you need to make sure you're having foods that get on and off the grill very quickly. And if you've ever been to one of my tailgates, you know I bring an endless meat cooler, which means I add 20 to 30% on to what I'm gonna be grilling, because you never know who's gonna stop by. And if you're friends with me, you're always invited. Let's plan our menu. And if you've ever been to one of my tailgates, you know we do it big. We do breakfast, we do lunch, and we follow it up with a burger bar after the game. Let's talk about breakfast, and I love doing breakfast burritos. And this is something easy because you can prep it all the day before. I can dice my ham, I can dice my tomatoes, my peppers, my onions. This is all easy to do at home, so what we're going to do when we get to the game is just take it out of the cooler and get it on the grill as quick as possible. Let's talk about lunch, and I love doing sausages and I love doing steak and chicken skewers. These are individually portioned meals, so people can come up and get them whenever they would like, which allows them to have more fun interacting with people. Now let's talk about after the game, and that's our burger bar. And I love doing this too because I can prep it all at home. I can get the patties pre-made, I can slice my toppings, all that stuff is done the day before, so once the game's over, we're coming out, taking it out of the cooler, enjoying a big win, and getting that food on our grill. Now let's talk about preparation. First is our grill, and here we're using a Weber Q. And if you're grilling for 10 to 20 people, this is going to be perfect. If you start grilling for 20 to 30 or more, you might need two of these. With our grill comes our fuel. And don't be like me. Five minutes before we were supposed to tailgate, I realized I forgot a tank. So we were driving around the city trying to find one. Always remember your fuel. Let's talk accessories. If you're going to be doing breakfast, you need a griddle. If you're going to be grilling onions and peppers, make sure you have your veggie basket. You also need to make sure you have enough sets of tongs. You're going to need tongs for your raw food and tongs for your cooked food. Make sure you have your grill brush and always remember your grill mitts. All of these items are critical in order to make your next tailgate a success. Other things to consider. Always label your coolers. There's nothing worse than your guests walking around your tailgate trying to find something to drink and they keep getting in your meat cooler. Supplies. Forks, knives, plates, cutting boards, tin foil. You want to make sure you have enough items that your guests have something to eat off of. And finally, bring a garbage can. This will help keep your area clean. Now the easiest way to remember all this stuff is to make a list. Our first meal is breakfast and we're going to be doing our breakfast burritos. And they should be the first thing that's on top of our cooler. So I'm going to get all our ingredients out and we're going to start grilling our burritos. Now here you can see we have all our burrito ingredients. We have our peppers, our onions, our cheese, our ham, and our sausage all in a nice tin container, easy to get over to our grill. We have our tortillas, we have our potatoes that we're going to be making inside here, and we're going to finish it up with a nice lightly grilled watermelon. So I'm going to get all this stuff ready and then we're going to get over to the grill. I'm putting together our last burrito and breakfast is served. We had a great grilled breakfast, now it's time to grill lunch. And I'm gonna get our skewers out of our cooler, out here, and then we're gonna get them on our grill. Our chicken and steak skewers are done, and they look perfect. I love these muffin tins, because you can put a variety of sauces in them for dipping. The game is over and hopefully your team has won. Now it's time to build our burger bar. And this is something that we do after every time we tailgate. There's one thing I hate, and that's sitting in traffic. So we always do this burger bar to keep the celebration going. That way when we leave, there is no traffic. So let's get our food out and get our burgers on the grill. Our burgers are done and we've shown you a lot of great tips on how you can throw an all-day tailgate party. Just save a place for me.